What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Mike's Toolshed. This episode is about these parts that I procured from a demo job that I was recently on. Um, they were, the whole place was getting gutted. This stuff would have ended up in the trash, so I brought it home to play with it. And I've never played with anything like this. I have no idea how it works, so this could be interesting. What it is is a mag lock for a door, and this is a door access control power supply. So uh, any kind of office building, hotels, um, hospitals will use these mag locks instead of any kind of mechanical latch or lock. And what it does is when the door closes, when you know you go through that door, you're supposed to go through that door, it closes. And this magnet turns on and 1,200 pounds of force goes onto this chunk of steel and will not let you open the door unless you have like a key card or they have, I've seen handprint scanners and key fobs, all kinds of stuff like that. Whatever grants you access to that door will drop the mag lock and let you through. As soon as the door closes, the mag lock engages again. Like I said, I have no idea how this stuff works. But I do have it all wired up at the power supply. Uh, the power supply, you can uh, back this up with 12 volt batteries and um, this will automatically switch to battery power. So even if the power goes out, these mag locks will still work. It has contacts on here for the fire alarm system. So when the uh, alarm system goes, or the fire alarm system goes into alarm, it will drop all the mag locks. So not everyone's trapped inside and burns to death. And also it has some other contacts on here for power. So it can, you know, alert someone if the AC power goes out or the battery dies. It does all kinds of shit. All I need it for is to make 12 volts, which is all done in this transformer right here. 120 volts AC comes in, and then 12 volt DC comes out. And that's what this whole thing runs off of. My job stops right here at hooking this box up. This has just got a cord attached to it. That's how they did this one. Sometimes we'll bring our feed right into it and splice onto the uh, transformer. Either way, that's where my job stops. I know nothing about this stuff. So what I did is th there's contacts on here, and I could probably look up schematics or kind of try to figure out how this goes. Um, there is another part to this, a big brain box, where all the mag locks and all the access controls go back to, and it divvies out, you know, who has access to what. Um... I didn't need that. I only want to play with this one mag lock, and it's 12 volts. It's simple enough. I think I put power to it. It turns on, and I have a super strong magnet. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea how it works. So what I have done is mocked this up. Um, like I said, I could look this up, but this is lock positive, strike positive, common negative, auxiliary positive, fire alarm panel, auxiliary negative. I kind of have an idea what those do, but I just needed 12 volts off of one of these. And I'm going to send 12 volts to this and see what happens. I have not tried this yet. I'm going to put this away. There's some metal stuff. I don't know if all the tools are going to come flying off the wall or what it takes to get this thing to engage, but it only has two terminals on it, so it can't be that complicated. So I have this set up in my power strip. And as soon as... <laughs> I don't want to near anything metal. So as soon as I flip this power strip on, it'll energize this which will energize these wires to 12 volts, but I don't know if that's all it takes to turn this thing on. A sacrificial piece of metal. Let's see, maybe this Capri screwdriver. Let's see if it, <laughs> see if it's magnet. All right, three, two, one. Okay, power supply's on. Hmm. Okay, that didn't do it. See, I've heard of some of them having magnets in them. Hmm. All right, what about if we put a piece of steel on it? This sucks. I so it was very anticlimactic. I thought something was gonna happen. All right, this is simulating the door closed. Maglock's got power. I know I'm 12 volts. Now I'm pissed. <laughs> Alright, let's double check these terminals for 12 volts. I don't know what else I can do to it. I put 12 volts to it. Fuck. I knew I should have grabbed that other box. Yeah, we got 13. 13 volts going to the... Wait, no. Did I? Did 
have any of the right ones? Ah, I hooked up the wrong fucking screws. <laughs> Alright. Let me try this again. Yeah. Alright, 13 on those. Alright. I'm going to pause this and hook this up to the right terminals. Okay, I have switched the terminals to... Now it should have 12 volts on this pair of wires here. All right, three, two, one. Okay, nothing crazy happened. All right, what the fuck? Right, let me check this again. The wires I have on. There isn't voltage on these wires. All right. Is it 20 volts? All right. I'm going to hook it up to something else. All right. Pause. <laughs> okay. So, I was looking at this thing, and I scrapped, I, I think I would need to jump something out, or I need to give this board information to activate the lock terminals. So I just went off auxiliary. Um, I tested it with nothing on it, and I, got, I was getting 13 volts from auxiliary content, or auxiliary power supply. So, let's try this again, alright? Three, two, one. Alright. Nothing obvious happened. Let me check... I do have the 13 volts on that pair of wires. Now let's see if this is a magnet. Uh, change it. Oh, that's, uh, it's not as strong as I thought it would be. <laughs> it's on. I feel like I could pry this off. Oh, damn. That's where... Uh, that's where it excels. <laughs> you need the contact over the entire thing. Um, it's not just... Uh, I guess it's not just a 1,200-pound... Uh, I guess it is a 1,200-pound magnet, but you have to use a big piece of steel. So now I'm going to turn it off. Not as strong as I thought it would be, but it does it does its job. It holds tight to this piece of metal. Let me see here. Turn it back on. That is weird. It didn't get sucked onto it that hard. <laughs> but it is just a little bit of it is freaking on there. Holy crap. There we go. Alright. He just let me try this. That's not on there good at all, but just very gently took it. But god damn, that's on there. All right, well I don't. It's not really what I expected. I expected it to just like suck all the tools off the wall, but it's um. It's really interesting the way that it works. How it doesn't uh, it doesn't pull it like a, like if it was a a static magnet. Where if I held this screwdriver above a twelve hundred pound magnet, it would just pull the thing in. This it waits till it's on there and then it gets really strong. Somehow it knows. I wonder if it's continuity between either of these bars that intensifies it, so it just does a little bit to pull it up, pull it tight, and then it ramps up the magnetism or the voltage. I don't know. This thing's interesting though, so I'm gonna try to figure out a way. It, it is easy as that. <laughs> it is as easy as that it, it appears. You put uh, 12 volts to it, and it holds on to this son of a bitch like for dear life. So I'm gonna somehow mount this when I rebuild the shed doors. I'm gonna keep this in mind. Um, I have the mounting. I have all the parts to it. I have the cover for this, and I have the mounting plate. So. Yeah, this is going to get incorporated, and it, I don't need this this whole power supply deal. Um, I just need 12 volts from something. It was just this is a good, uh, this is the perfect thing to do that, and it's got some other functions too. 
battery backup, battery charging. So <clears throat> that's it. That's the uh, maglock experiment. It just it is kind of weird though. How if anybody knows about that? That's, you know, it barely wanted to yank it out of my hand from like this close, but then once it was on, it did not want to let go. So somebody can explain that. I'd appreciate it. And uh, that's it. That's the maglock experiment. Thanks for watching.